Let's talk a little bit about injectors. So what I've ordered is a set of six refurbished injectors from the P2 model S80 T6, which is the twin turbo version from 1998 until 2004, I think. And uh, the whole lot cost me $62.30. Don't know if you can see that or not. And the part number is 02801 So uh, make sure that when you order them that you do order six because with so many Volvo 5 cylinders around, uh, it's kind of easy to click on the wrong link at night time if you're half asleep and end up ordering five. So don't do that. And so these, uh, I'm kind of impressed to be honest, like for 10 bucks a piece basically or less. And they're individually packaged. They are seemingly refurbished and cleaned and flow tested. I don't know how much, you know, I want to read into it, but you could, you know, just order or go to the boneyard and get some. Um, there it is there. So these are, if I recall correctly, 350cc injectors or 358. These are the specs on the injectors. Uh, and really I'm kind of looking to emulate T6 performance with this anyway. So we'll go with the T6 injectors. Um, 329 cc I mean arguably they're good up to over 300 horsepower depending on what you have so um, these are also this uh, this injector I believe is also used as an upgrade for older inline six cylinder Jeeps the upgrade being that they originally came with a single hole in the center for atomization and this later model comes with four um, I mean 60 bucks can't go wrong really We're going to swap out the injectors. Should be pretty straightforward. Maybe I'll have to be pissed out of these ones coming out. I'll put the replacement ones. So, in theory, they should pop out, but sometimes they take a little bit of. How's your father? And because I'm not using these again, I don't care if I handle them roughly. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Hopefully, I won't have to use these again. I'm not going to be in good shape after this. And your box. Five. Six. Beautiful. One. Murky. Fuel leaking. Smelling good. Injectorless. Injector rail. A bit of a wipe, that's what she said. Uh, you know, if you wanted, you could go and blast it with compressed air and whatever else, but there, that's good enough. Uh, it's the cleanest it's been in 21 years or something like that, so I don't think it matters. All right, so I'm gonna skip to the injectors being in the car and then just some quick tips. When you're putting the rail back in and even when you're getting it out, this support bar that holds the injectors in at the back is a real pain in the ass to get in underneath the top of the cam cover or under the top of the head. Um, it's a lot easier to manage this if you remove the bellows for the, it's a lot easier to remove the bellows for the cruise control and it gives you a lot more room to get in here for these bolts. I mean, that's it. It's, it's a pain in the ass. This rail was a pain in the ass to get back in. I was very surprised.